Okay, we're here with William Bombardier, Open Source Aquaponics. Tell us about a brief summary of your entire system here. All right, thanks, Martin. Okay, so what I want to show you is just a quick quick run through of my system and show you uh, the dynamic aspects of how it's created and how you can replicate it. So first off, I'm going to start with the, the very basic aspect of where does the water flow to? So this is the sump. It's a 55-gallon barrel. It's buried in the ground, the center of the greenhouse. It's got a... a, a Fairly good size, I think it's a 18 liter per hour pump in the bottom. I use one pump to run the entire system. So instead of multiple pumps, I use one pump. Here's and how do you get to do one pump? How do I do that? I take the pump and I pump that water from there up this tube into this 55 gallon barrel that's up in the air. So now I have a water tower, my own personal water tower, and I have water pressure to run lines anywhere I want, whenever I want. It's versatile. It's modular, I can connect it, and I can I valve it off so that I can control the pressures wherever I want. Okay, so that's the interior structure here, which has the fish. Yep. So we've got about 160 fish here. Can't see them right now. Yeah, we stirred up the water a little bit ago, so it's a little bit yeah. uh, messy. But um, yeah, so we've got water. Uh, water flows down. We've got um, trough system where the water flows through. Helps settle out the solids, filters out the solids. Um, worms and other bacteria can break that down. Um, when I want, I can also scrape that out and just remove it and put it in my worm compost for the worms. Plants and pots, that's the idea. Plants so that pots, you're yep. separating the water chemistry from the soil chemistry. Yes. Also saw a little worm bin here, there. So there's some worms in line as well. Yep. In the various worm bins, there's an automatic fish feeder here. Correct. And settling pond here with other small fish. Yep which the interesting part here is that there's a siphon the here the thing is it's a siphon that takes the water from here up above and into this tank and there's a siphon returning back to here right um and now experiment these, of a of a tower here these are somewhat similar yeah this is what i'm doing for the i'm so doing some basil right now basil some little basil seedlings i've gotten here i'm just trying to get those going some an idea like there is so you got medium there yep inside here let me pull one of these that's out. Let's this, this one here. This one's not doing so well. So I've got a peat mixture with compost and some other things in there. But mostly just yeah. a peat soil. And, and plugged uh, off compost. at the bottom? How do you close it yep, with a screen at the okay, bottom? A screen in the bottom, yeah. Nice. So, it so it's a, so, much so that's a plug there and a screen that's, yeah, that's you wedged in there. Yeah, you basically just take a regular nylon screen, you put it over the top, you take your thing and just pound it on and cut the screen, you're done. It's okay. So now this whole system integrates with outside. So let's yep, walk this outside. Is outside. So here's the summertime tank, 400 gallon tank, grow out tank. Um, I also, I'm primarily using it right now for just being able to move the fish around, the larger fish. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow we're gonna pull some fish out. So we're gonna, mm -hmm. We've got some plumbing here for priming it. This is again a siphon system, just like the one you were talking about before. Siphon, which means the water goes up above, not water through the container. Over. Yep, I had a penetration system last year and it leaked and I had lots of issues with trying yeah. to get the liner. It, it's just the nature of those. So I decided to go with siphons. And what I did was I built a siphon system but it's a self-priming, so I can prime it really, really easily. So all I have to do is flip this valve. Prime the it. water pressure coming in is going to come back and fill this up. So if there's any air in here, it'll fill that up. And you can see yeah. it pushing it back out. If there was any air in there, you'd see bubbles shooting out. Mm -hmm. But since it's snowing, and then you just shut that off and starts to siphon right back in. And here we can harvest fish using yep. this screen. So if we move them in here. Yep, this is a screen that I just set up. So mm -hmm. then I can put it on one end. I can slide it down slowly. Move the fish down. When I get them down into one area, then I can easily catch them. If you don't have some way to corral the fish, they will be jumping out. They will. You're just gonna have a tough time catching yep. them. They're, they're really hard. 